Hi, today in the kitchen we're making a black sea bass with a summer succotash. This is a great recipe, quick and easy. It has lots of beautiful colors in it and you can make it any time of the year. You can make it in the summer when all your limas and your corn is fresh or if you get a hankering for it in the middle of the winter, frozen vegetables work just as well and are just as great and a little bit easier. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and get our pan here. You can either grill your, your bass if you want, your sea bass, or you can pan fry it, poach it, whatever you like to do, whatever's easiest for you. So I'm gonna take mine, and I've got some little oil in the pan, and I just cut mine into little fillets, little pieces, and I'm just going to put it in my pan since I don't have a grill. And then we're just going to put some salt and pepper on it and just kind of pan fry this. At home, I would normally probably just throw this on my grill. So we're just going to let that cook. So while that's cooking, we're going to go ahead and start our succotash. So I've got, um, I've already cooked the uh, bacon and pulled it out of my pan. So I still have some drippings in there. We're going to saute some onion. And you can use, um, if you don't want to dice all these onions yourself, they do make some in the store that are already diced for you because you know, I'm all about a convenience item. And then we're going to add um, some corn. And I just use frozen corn. Like I said, it's just quick and it's easy. And I just kind of usually keep those in my, my freezer. And some beautiful limas. And I just pull, you can use these. You don't even have to let them thaw. You can just put them in frozen and they'll steam up and cook all by themselves. You can see this is such a beautiful dish. It smells really great too. I'm going to give that a stir. And then we're going to add some cherry tomatoes to this that we just cut in half. And a little bit more salt and pepper. And just give that a stir. And we're going to add a few um, herbs to this. We're going to add some fresh dill that we're going to chop and some chives. So I've already chopped my chives and we're just going to add those in there. So add some great flavor. And then our dill. And I'm just going to chop my dill, just a little rough chop. And it'll be just some great flavors and great smells. Because it's all about looks, you know, if it looks beautiful and smells beautiful, it's got to taste beautiful. So we're going to give that a stir. You can see it looks great already. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a little vet, um, vegetable stock to this. So we're going to add two-thirds cup of vegetable stock that we made um, in here. And just pour that over. And then we're just going to let this cook. And it'll start to bubble and thicken up a little bit. So while that is kind of cooking here and bubbling, we're going to turn our fish. And sear the other side. And then we're pretty much ready to go. Um, we'll get that to sear on the other side. You don't want to cook it too much, but you can see it's got a beautiful skin on it, so it's going to have some great flavor to it as well. We're going to let this bubble and simmer a little bit. Then we're going to add back our bacon to it. So you're going to get that too. And then you're ready to go. So it's a quick and easy meal that you can put together um, on the weekends or during the week even. And your family is going to get some great veggies and it's going to be quick and easy for you. So uh, this is what it looks like. This is how I served mine in a cast iron skillet, which is so you can go straight from the stove to the table, which is great. Um, I just put my fish on the top, topped it with a little more bacon, and you are ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed this black sea bass and succotash, and I look forward to seeing you next time here on Simple Cooking. Hi, I'm Joe Albee. And I'm John Moore, inviting you to join us each week as we will explore the fishing possibilities from the mountains to the coast.